Okay, Gadget is fun. All these pieces are kind of fun. Gadget's pretty fun. There's an optional DVC at 83. I highly recommend having this worked up because depending on where they put this piece in the program, those low notes will feel real good on your face after you've been playing a bunch because that flappiness of those low notes is going to promote blood flow. It's going to recover your chops. It's going to make you feel amazing. It's like playing long tones, but inside of a piece. That being said, they're optional for a reason. They need to, if you're going to play them, they need to be in time. They need to be precise. They need to be in tune. You need to play the note lengths accurately. They need to pop. Those notes need to pop, just like the high notes. So, right? Playing it low shouldn't change anything at all. If you're going to do the low notes, you have to actually do the low notes or don't do them. Pick one. I highly recommend it. If you put in the work, your chops are gonna thank you. So, here's that down the octave on the optional low notes. how bar 97 at the end of it it's no longer Debussy be prepared for that I don't care what horn you're playing on you probably don't have a pedal E flat to go to so you can't just stay down in the basement really know when it stops being Debussy especially if you're just reading the top note down an octave it's hard to flip the switch in your brain you need to mark it in, in colored pencil or something if you're not reading those bottom notes and you're just reading it where it's at but down an octave for ease, then you need to pay attention to when it's no longer down the octave. <laughs> 